guys welcome back to mommy cups homemade and this is what we eat in a week this week is much different so that's them turkey them chicken thighs that we go on about and some chips so that was a burger and chips that day um jacket potatoes and this is the chili that's homemade that steve absolutely loves hotter than a blooming vindaloo i tell you no one else in the house has had that or probably will ever eat that <laughs> We don't have a full Sunday meal cooked for you this week. Uh, what was this? That was that crispy beef. And the Chinese rice topped with sesame seeds. That was lovely. This was just a quick um, Chicago Town deep dish pizza and some oven chips done in the air fryer, but oven chips nonetheless. This was my chorizo egg fried rice, chorizo and turkey egg fried rice. This was lovely, very nice. And there it is in all its beauty. <laughs> lovely recipe. Um, this was <laughs> after the party on Saturday, could not be bothered at all. I've damaged all my left leg and yeah, it's just not worth going into. Didn't even have a Sunday dinner, didn't have the fam round on Sunday either. We just had, and that's a bit of that cake that the um, place put in. Steve's just showing him, we've made this before for the channel, so we, he said there was no point in recording it. So he's just showing it being um, layered. But um, yeah. I can't stand long enough to make a cup of coffee, let alone do Sunday dinner. So there was no Sunday dinner. So Steve made a lasagna and we had that with a few wedges and some garlic bread. It was very nice. It's been a hard week this week because I've had the cake to sort for the, for the party. But I also had Amy off two days with a sickness bug. Now she's complaining that her throat hurts her and with all this strep and that going around, I'm trying to get an appointment for the doctors. You're getting the life story of our family this week. Um, so yeah, I messaged them this morning. I mean, she st still has to go to school. They don't allow them to stay off school because they've got a bad throat. But honestly, with the strep thing, I'm not taking any chances. So yes, she's gone. She's had some Calpol and ibuprofen. Um, She's happy in herself. Uh, and I'll see what the doctor says about getting her in to see him today. So, yeah, we're having... This is like the third week running now or something with Amy. She's having a bit of a run of it, bless her. But having her at home, as I was trying to say, was... Um, it made starting that cake hard work. Because, obviously, she was here. So, I ran out of time. The only thing I recorded of it was actually baking it. Not covering it. I just didn't have the time. It was such a mad rush to get that done. There are photos on the community post and on Instagram. Um, I don't, honestly don't know whether Steve's put any on here or not. Um, so yeah, things have been a bit hectic with Amy. And obviously now I can't do a great deal. I don't know how long this is gonna last with the leg and whatnot. That's what you get for trying to do things that you know you can't do. But you have to because you're a mum, you know. Oh, well. So I do have a weekly planner done for this week. So while he's building that, so for Monday, which is today, um, it's mini potatoes, carrots, cabbage and a piece of belly pork so I'm looking forward to that tomorrow we're gonna to have taco Tuesday regular tacos for the kids and we didn't get the shrimp tacos last week so that's what we're gonna have this week so Wednesday is officially Amy's birthday um, and with the birthdays they get to choose what they want no matter what it is they get to choose 
and Amy has chosen um, a takeaway pizza, cake and ice cream, as kids do. So that is what um, we'll be having on Wednesday. All Amy's choice. Thursday, we've got jacket potatoes with options of chilli. Not Steve's, I tell you. And this is what, oh, sorry. This is what it looked like when I dished up. The lasagna, the wedges, salad. And there was a banoffee pie as well, which took about six minutes to make. Easy peasy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, jacket potatoes with options of chilli, cheese, tuna. I don't know what's going to come up on the screen next now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a cake for anyone who didn't get to see it. Some some part of the Roblox side of the cake didn't turn up. So, yeah, I wasn't too happy about that. But there's not a lot I could do about it. I just go with what, what there was. So, Friday, I've got gammon or sausage, egg and chips. Yeah, you know, it's the blank bit at the bottom there, look. Um... Saturday is breakfast for dinner, so bacon, sausage, egg, mushroom, hash browns, fried bread, beans, all that good stuff. Sunday, roast dinner, fingers crossed, and some form of cake. So I've got notes at the side um, to make a small cake for, yeah, another one. That one was for a party, this one is just for the family at home, to sing happy birthday to her. So just a little cake for Amy on Wednesday. We've got a good shopping Thursday. So the strikes have affected us only this once, and that'll be Thursday. Amy's a bit annoyed that it's not Wednesday on her birthday, <laughs> but Amy can't go to school on Thursday due to the strikes and lack of a teacher. That's the only way that we've been affected by the strikes. Let me know in the comments if you, any of you guys have been affected by it. So we have Gusto coming on Friday. So, how, what the dates are like will depend on what we eat and when and I've got a couple of questions do you subs want to pick what we film for Fridays as in what meals if you want a bread put in there just some ideas it's up to you um, and do you guys want to try and come up with the meal plans as well give us ideas for the meal plan if there's enough i'll do a week of it if there's some not every week guys <laughs> but if i get enough ideas from you guys i'll pop them in and i'll have a a week of subscriber suggestion meals in the weekly planner just so it's think about anyway uh let me know down in the comments what you think of those two ideas um apologies for nothing on sunday but as I say, I can't stand up for long enough to do it. So thanks so much for watching, especially if you're here till right till the end, me guessing. And I will see you again soon. Bye.